Hey everybody, Scott Dowelly here, back with another 2 minute Capture One video, and today we're going to look at the levels control. Typically it's found in this tab here, but as always you can right click, add tool, and add it. How it works is uh, kind of convoluted uh, initially, but makes more sense as you play with it. Uh, the top set of controls determines the black point. So for example, if I pull the black point in, you notice the darker parts of the image are leaving and it becomes more washed out. However, the bottom control indicates where the black point is set. So here's our data here, and I've left the curve up so you can actually see it. But as I pull the black point in, you can see that it is setting the black point closer to the data. If I push it too far, you'll see the curve actually clips here. So if it touches the edge, it indicates it's clipping. Uh, so this would be the maximum amount of black that we could have in the image if we really wanted the black point to be set. We can also use this eyedropper here to set the shadow level or the black level. In the other side, it works a similar way. The, this top control pulls back. You can see here now the maximum white would be 244 and so on, which will wash the image out. Uh, but if this image is underexposed, for example, and you wanted to find a new white point, you could pull it this way, which would say basically set this point to white or this set this point to black. However, it's the difference between these two that makes this a little bit more convoluted. For example, if I'm pulling the shadow over uh, like this, and then I pull the top one over to be directly above it, you see the image hasn't changed, even though it's placed in the middle of the data. So this is not exactly uh, how I think this control should work. I think this should have a different effect, but that's just my opinion. The middle point is the gray point, which you obviously can't change uh, the position of, but you can determine where in the image the gray point should be set. So between these controls in combination with use of the curve, you have a lot of control over how your image is displayed. By pushing this around a little bit, we can change the look of the image uh, substantially. If you're not comfortable using the curve and you prefer to use this, this is an option. And of course, you can continue to use things like the high dynamic range to protect the highlights shadow and black points as well. So again, that's another two minute capture one video. If you liked it, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you've watched a bunch of these and you like the channel, please subscribe. It lets me know that these are being watched and I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Everybody stay safe.